Why would I stop hating on my oppressors for being oppressive? Toxic masculinity is what's preventing men from being vulnerable and seeking help. Well, one, if your ideology is primarily based on hating a certain individual groups, that should be a red flag for you because a lot of human atrocities were performed when the motivating factor was hatred or envy. Then you have to give me some evidence of how you are oppressed. We are living in a very privileged world. Unless you're speaking on the women in certain parts of like the Middle East who are generally oppressed in certain instances, you really aren't that oppressed. You can work and do whatever you want, especially if you live in the West. You're not oppressed. Majority of men are also very peaceful and they fight for women. They literally put their lives on the line and risk getting hurt and killed. And then you'll probably say, yeah, by other men. Other women also can physically kill men and they have. And women may not be physically aggressive or be physically weaker. However, they can still try to ruin the man's reputation, just like Amber Heard did and tried and failed. And an argument can be made that lack of masculinity is what harms men. Because masculinity by itself is not bad. Nor is femininity by itself is bad. There's good and bad people on each side. My question for you, though, is how is your rhetoric of hating on your supposed oppressors on the opposite gender? How are you helping the world? All you're doing is adding more hate and animosity. You're not improving it at all. This type of rhetoric is just very toxic, and you see it on both sides. Men and women do it, and then... It's very easy to do. Hating is very easy. Being a decent human being, working on yourself, and then treating others well, and treating them as individuals is what we should be doing. I think in the end, we take a lot of things for granted, and it's just very annoying seeing people complain about the most basic stuff, like someone's gender, or what's between their someone's legs. I, for example, in my personal life, have really good relationships with women for the most part. I don't go in meeting women or men thinking that they're bad or evil. It's individual based. And you're also listening to toxic women who are trying to spread hate and animosity and division. It's not good.